So we're going to go over calculating the chronological age of a child today by calculating the chronological age of each of my three boys. And so first we're going to start with um, Max. Okay, And today is May 7th, 2013. So we always start with today's date. And so we go year, month, and day. And so today, as I said, the year is 13, the month is 5, and the day is 7. And so Max's date of birth is um, January 11th of 2007. So the month is January, the day is the 11th, and the year is 2007. And so now we just do some old-fashioned subtraction. So we start just like we do with um, regular subtraction all the way over um, on our right column here. And because 7 minus 11, we can't take 11 from 7, so we have to borrow from our months. And so we're going to cross out our month of 5 here, and we're going to make that into a 4. And so since we've borrowed um, a month's worth of days, we're, we have borrowed 30 days, one month. And so we're going to cross out this 7, we're going to add 30. So we're going to make that 37. And so now we've got 37 minus 11 and that would be 26. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 13 minus 7 is 6. So his chronological age is 6 years, 3 months, and 26 days. So now we'll erase all that. All right. And we're gonna next we're gonna calculate the chronological age of my son Charlie. Okay, so Charlie was born on September 1st of 2010. So again, we're gonna start with today, and that's 13, 5, 7. And then as I said, Charlie's birthday is 9 1 10. So we're gonna go 9 1. 10. And so we can see here that we can take 7 minus 6, or 7 minus 1, excuse me, so that equals 6, but however we cannot subtract 9 from 5. And so again we have to borrow, but this time we're going to borrow from our years. So we're going to cross out that 13, we're going to make it a 12. And since we're talking about months and years, what we've done when we take, when we borrow one year, it's actually 12 months. So we're going to add 12 here. We're going to make this 17, so 17 minus 9 is 8, and then 12 minus 10 is 2. So we can see that Charlie's chronological age is 2 years, 8 months, and 6 days. And so if we make that into months, of course, that would be 24 months plus 8, so that would be 32 months, 6 days. But remember, we never round, so we would treat Charlie as though he was 32 months. Okay, and now we'll do just one more example. So I'm going to erase all this now for us to do one more example. And the last example we're going to do is going to be for my third son, Robert. And Robert's birthday is December 27th of 2012. So I'm going to get all that erased. And so we'll go here. Robert and today again we always start with today 13 5 7 May 7th 2013 Robert's date of birth as I said was December 27th of 2012 so again we're gonna do that subtraction now we can't subtract 27 from 7 so we're gonna borrow one month since we've borrowed a month that's going to be 30 days we've borrowed so we're going to make that 37 37 minus 27 is 10 again we can't subtract 12 from 4 so we're going to have to borrow again in this case so we're going to make that year into a 12 and we're going to borrow 12 months from that year so we're going to make that 4 into a 16 so 16 minus 12 is 4 and then 12 minus 12 is 0 and so he is 0 years four months, and ten days. And that's his chronological age. And so you can see we've done three examples of chronological age. All three um, 
involved um, some borrowing from either days or months, and hopefully these examples will help you um, as you're learning how to calculate chronological age when you're doing assessment and treatment of children in physical therapy.